Try not some upcoming game demos here. Just going through the uh, graphics options. Do I want SMA or do I want TAA? TAA versus SMA. Let's see. Just quickly looking up to see the differences, I forget. So the first game I'm playing is called Remoteness Demo. Let me uh, put a link here. It takes place in New York in the year 2034. So I guess I'll be looking forward to seeing some of this in 12 years here. Uh, I'm gonna try SMA four times, see where that gets me. All graphics max naturally. It's so weird, you actually scroll through to see the uh, key that you want. You don't even like click to input. Alright, reload. Yes, a V for heal. I'll keep it though, it's closer to my thumb. Then you have player menu N, which is kind of a stretch. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Alright. Hopefully the uh, FPS doesn't die once I'm in the actual game. Let's see what happens. Demo is time limited. Will portion of the city free to be explored? Yes. Oh man. Yeah. I think I'm at a bar. Yeah. Stuff has happened, but I'm. I, f I think I've had a few too many drinks. Yeah, I've definitely had a few too many drinks. Alright. It was all a bad dream. <laughs> Shit is going down outside. Running out of my dose. This is a recorded message from the White House. The city was evacuated last night. Why is the city evacuated? Repeat, the city was completely evacuated last night. Anyone still present in the city is considered a threat. Something about anyone remaining is a threat? What? Okay. What is going on? 
I like how I have this advanced technology here. And the most old ass alarm clock you could find. Can't look all the way down to my feet. Okay. So everything is in uh, real time. My name is Hannah. I thought I was a guy, but I'm not sure about that name. Is there a mirror? What is this? Is there a projector? How is the screen showing? Oh, there it is. It's up top. I couldn't see it. You are tuned to the emergency FM frequency 196.30. This is a recorded message from the White House. The city was evacuated last night. All right. Night. 12 years from now, apparently, uh, same icons. He has a bit of weeb. He's got a katana. Got us hooking. Much better. Wait, no, it's March 2019. What? Thought it was 2034. Maybe I just haven't updated my calendar in forever. That happens. Apparently, I am an artist of some sort. Looks pretty bleak outside. What is going on? Okay. This is a very interesting looking elevator. The reflections. I did turn on the uh, the reflection setting, I think. But, well, okay, you can't see it in here. I do see that my graphics card is being pummeled, having maxed out all the options. Alright. Let's see what's going on outside. I think I'm just having a hangover, kind of overreacting to stuff. I'd avoid dark areas, especially at night. Alright. That's all good. That's all good. Oh my god. Oh man, the latency. The city looks different. I don't like it. Let's be careful. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. The graphics just feel like it's dying. Ugh. I can't return. Alright. Hopefully the uh, performance improves because that looked like... I was about to go on fire. Oh, cool. What was that? Spooky. It's not the guy uh, from uh, what's that game called? Prototype or something? Where he becomes some demon and starts attacking everyone. Got a weapon. Jason, you are getting old. I am way faster than you are. Shut up. Oh man. Crossbow and a heal? What is that? Assault mode enabled. All right. I guess. This looks pretty cool. No crosshair or anything. It's just a immersion. Hopefully this is the correct way to go away from the uh, scary thing that just uh, Took out the poor man. This does not look like a New York City police uh, car. Huh. 
not even sure this looks like a hot dog car. I don't think anything about this is New York, to be honest. What up? Hey, did I already tell you that I love your crossbow? No, you haven't. Well, we got this because I was hoping to see just how true to life the New York environment was, but um, kind of disappointed so far. Kind of disappointed. Hey, it's a guy. Let me ask him for directions. He's also got a floaty thing, just like me. I'll take care of that. Oh my god, no. God damn it. I can see the military is well trained in the future. I'll take care of that. Hell yeah. All your shit is mine. Is there an inventory thing here? No. Escape. Back. back. All right. Search the glowy rock, see what happens. Jason, do you remember when there used to be people here? Hmm. System hacking. Very sure to life, this is how you hack systems. Yeah, hot spot. Computer hacked. <gasps> I can't believe I did that. Yeah, me neither. Literally just woke up from a hangover and decided to go up to this and absorb its powers. Like how? How do you know to do that? So weird. Jason, you are getting old. I am way faster than you are. Stupid bud. All right. Enemy engaged. Where? I did nothing. Oh my god. I just plunked against the side of that droid. Does that mean people are approaching? I think I'm gonna give this game a pass. It is about to rain. I hate when it rains. <sighs> uh, Enemy engaged. Where? What? I 
went down way easier than I expected it to. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's that for remoteness. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Next game seems way more my speed. It's called Small Saga. It's just loading right now. RPG Maker game, you can tell. I'm assuming that is your uh, character, the mouse on the screen. Manor Vermin works beneath our feet. Me, apparently. I am a small mouse. food hoard. Why does that mouse have clothing but mine doesn't? Oh, he's got a cape. This makes it much better. Mouse warrior pro tip. Hold X to run. Alright, it's kind of adorable. this. I can. Doesn't lead anywhere though. I like that the bridge is made out of popsicle sticks. I want to get to that chest. Some big mice. And sees each. Report. 
Still ten or brewery. Let's go for this guy. Looks like he has less HP and more attack based on a uh, base weapon. Even that there are two to three times our size, I'm amazed they're doing that little damage. Of that, that the under reverge rats started worshiping as a chieftain. Interesting art. <laughs> Got that S that everybody draws back in school. Frequently, it's pretty cool. Look how everything is just part of the war, all the world, and game mechanics. Ah, there he is. I'm assuming God refers to humans. Let's go for Sarmi Knife. The Titan Reaper. gold tooth there. I presume he's charging up. Alright. Easier than expected. Kind of a waste of a peanut, to be honest. Hmm? The yellow god roams the hall. I wonder if that's like a cat. Oh. 
take this. Five seeds when he wants a battle. Alright. Should help us a bit. Let's just see what this Evo God is. Ooh. A supermarket. Be great if the supermarket itself were called heaven. Hungry gods at dawn. Sinister contraptions. Thunder snares. Well, how they have their own vocabulary used to describe things I've never seen before, or rather, don't know the official word for. The boxes in the in the back here. Well played. There we go. Sweet, not good sweet though. Could it be the yellow god mentioned? the end not into the mash trap
Oh, it's terrifying. Just cut the tail off, man. You don't need it. He's actually gonna shoot the guy. Oh shit. can survive whatever happens next. Um. All right. See, if only they did that to start with, they could have both escaped. Sure, this is pretty metal. That was kind of sad. Shetty's wielding the Swiss Army knife, it seems. He's back for revenge. Yep, the Titan Reaper.
That's a lot of damage. Is this I'm thinking at a skill point if I read like a certain book. Just more lore. Maybe one of them. Assume this will let me save. Time to beat the big one.
I'm assuming she's coming with me. Hi, grown up. Yeah, I'm just playing all the cool new demos that I'm seeing on Steam. This current one's called Small Saga. Probably you worry, Small Mouse Warrior. And trying out some of her stuff. Alright, where'd you get off to? Maybe get some more skill points out of that. Let us see. Secret passageway? Aha! Oh, damn. Got a Nokia, a Game Boy. Is that a Casio calculator watch? God's Timekeeper. So in this game they refer to humans as gods, which is kind of nice. Okay, I'd say it's definitely in large part because of the uh, the mic setup I have here, honestly, but yeah, thank you. Oh, is that a battery? Wonder if they set it up as some sort of explosive. Can't tell if that's a battery or a lighter. So am I ever going to blow the cat up or set him on fire? Let's find out. Come on. There's a lot of uh, talking in this. Let's go to the chase. Modified for explosive potential. Okay, it is a lighter. Okay. I wasn't sure at first. Alright. I assume we'll do this one battle and that'll be it for this game. Safe first. I do like the world. It's got a... Kind of cutesy charm to it. Alright. Not sure how much of it I would play, but I would probably recommend this to some of us I know. The gnome. Ah, that's Cormac. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Round two. Or where's this cat? That would make sense. Uh, her is pretty vulnerable to a fire. Uh, I'm gonna save up for that again, actually.
Burn, baby, burn. Oh no. Is there four? Yeah, I'm liking it. It's a demo right now on a Steam called uh, Small Saga. Let me quickly uh, paste it here. Again. Hey, curb. This is the game. This is an adorable RPG called Small Saga, where you are a mouse friend, and as friends rather, taking on the world of humans. Oh no, this is getting dicey. I'm kind of digging it. All right, this is my last attempt before she dies. Please work. Nice. Calculated. So if you're a small mouse ticking on a cat, make sure to uh, pack a lighter with you. Apparently pretty effective. See, let's level my guy up. All right. Yeah, I think this was a. Uh, this was going to be. It for this game, I'm just gonna check back in the uh, the layer. It's probably gonna be some dramatic speech on how I need to uh, do A, B, X, Y, Z, whatever. And then the demo end, that's my prediction. Oh, the demo is free. The full game is not out yet. And exiled by her own mom. It's pretty cold. Probably for the better, though. Oh, it seems kind of lame. Get up to that chest. There we go. Good spot to climb the wall. Okay. But how? How do I do that? Skill. That's unfortunate. Oh, do I just move that? No? Yeah, the pixel style is kind of nice. It's mixing like the real world with old style fantasy games. 
a bit. Maybe, I don't know. It reminds me of, like, 90s adventure games. Majestic Carrier Raven. Alright. Now will you climb up? Atta boy. First. What's in the just seeds? You looking around for it? A weaver of some sort? Oh, 200 IQ. Uh huh. Totally feel that. South or west, I think he said. Yeah, so it's definitely taken a long time going by foot as a mouse, I think. This looks like London, but who am I to say? Station is Murder. Free. A stern palace. Off we go. Fight on the bridge. Surprised there wasn't a dramatic fight in the bridge. But all right. We are warriors. I forgot a lot of style. Got this Scottish red squirrel of some sort.
Hmm. Oh well, guess we'll never know. Alright, as much as I want to continue, I do want to try out a few other games, so I think I'll stop here for now. I might return to my own later. I do like the, uh, the vibe a lot. So the next game I'm going to try out is, uh... Oh my god, it is very, very loud. Uh, there's a seizure warning, so if you're prone to seizures, uh, might be a good time to take a break. I will switch over to the new game as soon as I can, uh... mode as soon as it'll let me it's one of those games that'll take forever all right this is like a boomer shooter of sorts come on come on there we go You want shooting, this game has shooting. I'll just leave everything on high for now. It's one of those 90s boomer shooter kind of games. Okay. Pretty basic, pretty basic so far. Let's see what's going on. Pretty gory. If the last game was kind of charming and sweet looking, this is a this has got a bit of an edge. Difficulty: Virgin Blood, Regular Joe, Street Cleaner, or Serve Me Pain. I'm just in normal mode for now. You can ultra kill enemies with water, shotguns, alt fire. Sin is all you need. Got that aesthetic look. Am I about to set off a bomb or something? Hmm, taking a nice drag. That's one way to start up the game. Like chainsaw, standard of course. Let me look at my sensitivity here. Okay, that's kind of fine. I swear to god, there was like mouse smoothing or something. I really hate that. Maybe not. Boom. Okay. Over drops. Lock on fire mode. Cool. 
I need that. Don't forget. I could have done that too. Chainsaw slide. on all of them. That's fine though. I like the ever weapon. It's so OP. Too crazy so far. horror going on here. Oh man. That's one way to make an entrance. Me up here. God, the, the movement in this can be a bit improved. Uh, no. Alright. I think I got the gist of this. This one is a less interesting than a prior one. On to the next one. All right, it's loading up. This next game is brought to you by Team 17, the guys behind the Worms franchise. to that game. It's called The Unloving.
Vermont, what do I write about this? I am some sort of necromancer with an army. of sorts no Spark. Magic at its best. Outside. See where this goes. Yep. I promise our power. Glad you like it. Definitely a uh, RPG to keep an eye out for. I'm gonna die soon. Out of energy. That's not good. There we go. Holy crap. I don't know why, but they don't seem to attack when I uh, click the thing. I didn't bug you right now. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong.
Can't tell if I keep having to spam right quick or something else, but. one out. This one's a little, uh, that's my style. Pikmin, but with Blood and Necromancer. Yeah, kind of, but the mechanics aren't really polished right now. So not really sure what's going on in there. This one is going to be called Nobody. That's her. Oh my god. There we go. It's got that melodramatic music so you know it's serious. that turn around. Father got stuck in high gambling debts and ran away, leaving her family behind. After being harassed by the debt collectors for several times, your mother got sick and was admitted to the hospital. As the eldest son of the family, you had no choice but to leave your younger sister at home to take care of your mother, and it was time for you to work hard and pay off all the debts. Alright. I have zero clue what this is about. Who this guy is. Looks like I'm in uh, either China or Chinatown. Alright. Right. So pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. Hmm. 
Oh well. I was just in here. I like this. Um, no, this is this is in China. I think it's a Chinese developer as well that made this. This is definitely not New York. Do you have a job for me? Hiring exam. One minus two is. Oh man. Nice one. The absolute value of one minus two is just one. That's six. Okay, that's nine. The other three is three. The five plus twenty-five is thirty. You know, I've never had a game go this many things to start. Also, I don't know. I, th I think it's boxes because it's written in Chinese. But I'm assuming it's relying on a system font, and I don't have Chinese installed on my system. And they didn't package the font for Chinese, because I'm assuming the main audience for this game is probably Chinese, so whatever. If you cut off one of the angles in a triangle, how many angles will be left? So... A triangle has 180 degrees combined. Oh, two. Chicken and rabbits put on the same cage at 30 feet could be seen. Okay. So 5 times 4. That leaves 10 feet. Each chicken has 2 feet, so that's 5 chickens. The capital city of China is... Beijing. I think. Oh my god. Let me double check this. I haven't been asked such simple questions in a long time. Okay. Um, is that it? I got 90? What? What? Wait, angle... Triangles have three angles, don't they? What? And if you cut off one of the angles in a triangle, that leaves two. At first I thought it was like a degrees, because the combined degrees in a triangle is 180. But that would have been very different, whatever. So these questions come from the real employment test of an electronics manufacturer in 2020. 40% of the candidates failed. Yeah, I think seven is... I don't trust seven. I can see the workers messing up on something like two, like the absolute value, or five, where they add the two before multiplying it first. Um, okay, you know what, whatever. I passed. I guess this is kind of like to give you a feel for what it's like for a worker. She... It doesn't let me continue. Uh... Okay, the construction stuff. Uh, 
He's an auntie. Auntie. Okay. Wash cars and customers happy. Yeah, you can see the uh, the rough translations everywhere. Um, injure up injury. I don't know how much muscles I have. Charming to play brand mascot. Five hour shifts, heat stroke risk. I wish I knew how much they paid. I don't want to risk injury. So there's these three. I don't really have experience for this. If these are the same amount of money, why don't I take the one that's less time? Do I just stand around? Okay, it's under quarantine. I can't do that one. Under quarantine, I can. Oh, these are all different cars. Okay, I can't do these, I think. 18 per hour, 5 hours of shift. Danger of injury. You may become injured. It is IRL. I may very well have become injured. Okay. Broker takes a slice of uh, pie. Extra bonus with manual mode? Yes. Is it going to force me to do five hours of real-time brick, uh, brick work? All right. Okay. Okay, so there's like an 80 second timer here. I'm gonna do that right most one. Put 10 in there. And then I can split this between the top and the right one. Ah, there's IQ. Just short, am I? Oh man. You know, Zor, something tells me there's no such thing in China. It's 30 yen short. In the rules, the foreman takes a small cut on the first pay processing fee. Oh, man. Oh, this is a depressing game.
我却并不孤独，因为我名叫。On true stories, I don't doubt it. Sorry, yes. Oh, damn. I'm worse than nobody. I'm a sorry, yes, right now. Zero expectations. My hunger. Ah, I'm relatively decent. I'll oh, punch somebody. Can I pet the dog? Where's it gonna bite me? Mood boost? Perhaps? Hey, I feel much better all of a sudden. Still angry. Alright, I think I'm gonna try the next thing after this. I believe I had one last game I wanted to try. Gotta load it up on the side. This was one depressing person game though. This one is called Ixion. I've actually had the summer, which was for a while. Everyone chili starts selling completos on the street and bam, easy money. Hmm. Every game nowadays is so loud, honestly. Let's crank this up to ultra, baby. Oh man, what just happened? It reset to 4K? No. What? Why is it doing that? There we go. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, I know that this takes place somewhere in space. European space port in Norway, 2049. 
So cool. Welcome on board, passengers. 2049, so that's 27 years from now. We'll have all this. Some sort of massive craft out in orbit around the Earth. Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. Munchy decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and would like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden. The personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchi protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. And again, the Munchies myself. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, well, it's everyone going in a circle. operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. Hmm. The Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. I'm Dolo's cryonics lead. Marduk Council Member Giovanni Batista. See, he's enjoying so, those ships. Let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada, yada, yada. And then you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, Balancing of power output with allocation. 
Eden's gonna display and keep track of your... Oh, the Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission in. So, to one last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds... Okay. Oh good. This is a bit more involved than I was expecting. I don't know if I want to invest this much time. Let's see what's outside. Oh, that is so cool looking. Oh, look at that. And then base camp. Oh. Alright. Where is Proxima Centauri? I better remember that's a planet orbiting Alpha Centauri, which is the closest star away from the sun. What do you want me to do here? I suppose that's a good as thing as any put down. Put you in the corner. Stuck metal. Set alloy. Now, how do I do that? That's kind of cool. Here we go, collecting again. Wonder if I'll be able to unlock the other sectors at some point. I'm assuming so. collecting this alloy. It's all these doofy people just kind of walking around aimlessly. I need 10 more, but they're not, they're not getting it? Well? A bit confused.
Okay, transporters. What happened to these transporters? Okay, I'll just make some more roads, why not? It's just refusing to collect those last 10 resources. I believe I forgot to put that one last bit of road down. to click on that? What? Really? I had no idea. Well, now I know. Administrator. Administrator. Mr. My name is at my department. The deal. It will. As is off. Okay, shut up. We my next mission. Communal dining. Okay. I just assume that means they want whatever's in the food. Here. Let's get to Eden. Second sec pile. Okay. So in second thought, it might be storing the food, in which case it's on the opposite side of that. It might be a better thing to get to. Now we just build on a road. Why not? Set it to store food. Eighty five. Eighty five of these, okay. Let's 
is 30. That's 60. 75. And then... This should be enough. Okay. Ship and a sign ship. Easy enough. Is building these. Hmm. All right. One more, and I fulfill that mission. There we go. Finish it up. Perfect. I wish I knew what it took to build a ship. Presumably I was missing some alloys before. Just chalk up to that. Nothing, nothing. I'd like to visit the moon, but not building any of these. Wonder why. Doesn't tell me the prerequisites. 10 gears, 10 gears. I mean, I have 12 people assigned to it, it seems. Oh, docking bay. I already have the docking bay, though. Construction house. Have all these things. Worker awaiting order. Could start building those ships. Come on, guys. Oh, 
what is going on. Oh, I need those. I need those gears. Okay, I see now. I see now. This is gonna be the uh, little gears that I need for the uh, the ships. I need to stockpile that much. Oh, Emer. Okay. Come get your polymers. That's more like it. Oh, yeah. Iron Dude. the cargo ships are free food okay nice it's going off by itself so proud oh we are iron dude and now we have a sign ship too skip Is that an event? Yep, yep. I'm, uh... Yeah, that's good. Science ship has arrived at destination. Set a commission, I wish there was... Things. Exploit the security vulnerability. Meanwhile, we have enough food here. Good, good. Hacken. A science ship team has completed a task. Nice. Um, yeah. Well. This is a good mission. Sorry, systems are operational. I suppose that's it for that then. Let's man all the rest of it. Anything I haven't built yet. A tech web. I wanna build that. Oh man, that is massive. There. to extend the width of the road. So I know for a fact it's connected to this road. The stockpile rather.
Or is it facing the wrong side? I think it's facing the wrong side. Rolling motion. Alright. Let's change this up. No, that was a correct orientation. But I do have that. 75 alloys. I have 100 of those. What is going on? Send you to uh, Mars, see what's up over there. Administrator. Greetings, and I'm, I'm glad to find my book. I hope that the truck of a whole engine. Yeah, I'm trying to build a tech lab, and it's not letting me. Maybe this is just not the best place to put it. I'm going to put it in the middle, I think, over here. Then, for whatever reason, that works. Okay. Sure. Mars they still have. Okay. Research EVA airlock. Good situation does seem a bit dire though. We have 33 right now. I've run out of my starting resources. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay.
Um, wait, no. It needs to collect food now. One cycle. Science ship has arrived at destination. I really need the uh, the iron dude to return because it is currently stuck there for some reason. There we go. I had to reset it. Apparently it was bugged because my people have zero food. And without food, I think they will not be happy for much longer. Get some more food. Oh, right. Uh, what do I upgrade? Have those. Planetary systems for resources and anomalies. I think that might be sensical. A vol engine. These are all solar panels, from what I can see. Ah. You do that. I suppose I'll research the purple launcher in the meanwhile. Forty science, not bad. Yeah, you process that science. Science has been retrieved. I think I might have left some science behind on Mars, though. Okay, so it's control one through control three for the time dilation. Launcher. Let's get it on. Oh, buddy. So much space required. Last time it worked. Mm. Before I had to put this after the road. Seems. There we go. Administrator, the diff. 
different phases of prep before. Hello, administrator. I'm glad you must have weave it through the type. Do you rep? Depart from the source system already? Okay. Let me uh, return first. Of all the signs I have gathered. Administrator, please ensure. Initiate a vol jump. I'm gonna get some more food first before doing that. Okay. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children, to carry on, 
Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further Come on, get on into with it. the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found. Oh, thank God I could skip that. All right. It's pretty cool. I do want to see what the next step is, but I guess we'll have to wait for the full game to release. And yeah, that was the final game. Thank you for watching. See you soon next time.